So what we have here is our gas nailer. Obviously health and safety is a very important part of using anything like this. This is a firearm. If it's not used correctly, people will get hurt. So on site, everyone must be certificated to use this product as it is the same with all power tools. If we start from the heel end and work our way forward, features and benefits. If when you're on site you want to hang your gas nailer over a truss, you can do so. That is adjustable. You, we have a soft grip and trigger. You'll notice the trigger itself will not want to fire unless we have the nose pressed down. So the, the nose and the trigger work simultaneously together so, and then you'll be able to fire your nail. So bearing that in mind, it has a dry fire situation. This machine takes clipped head nails from 50 mil in length to 90 mil in length. So these are clipped head nails. The reason for clipped head allows you to get more nails on a strip rather than having a gap between being a full head is nail. This machine is like your car engine. We require a fuel to go into it to ignite. So the fuel is inserted into the chamber. Here's the the gas to go into the machine and that sits very snugly in its port. You then close it up and that allows the gas, when we press the nose down, to go into the chamber. We then we have to put electrical current on here. There's a spark plug in the top which ignites, just the same as your petrol engine, and it pushes the piston down, the plunger goes down and puts the nail into the material. So next to load, we must always do it in the same order. Gas in, nails in, battery in last. So if you want to do any work on the machine, put new nails in, battery out, new nails in. So we've put the gas in, we've got our PPE prepared for when we want to fire it. Nails in, 34 degreed, as you can see they're angled, they drop in, you pull the slide all the way back, and that then pushes the nails into the firing chamber. Once we get to that stage, we should consider putting our PP on so we're ready to fire. So only put the battery onto the machine when you actually want to fire the machine. So the PP that is required is safety glasses, hearing protection, because the, the noise level is greater than 85 decibels. We're on. The Makita, one amp hour lithium battery can be charged at any time in 30 minutes. Pops in, Makita facing up. You notice the green light is starting to flash, so the LED is telling you that battery is good. We should be ready to fire now. We're going to press the machine onto the material and fire. You can see if you don't penetrate it enough, you need to hold the machine down at all times. You notice here that the nail itself is not far enough into the material, so we want to adjust the front of how far we're firing the nail in. So to do that, we remove the battery, and we want to adjust the nose of the machine. We do that by the Allen key that is housed on the machine. Undo one. We have five steps of adjustment. So the nearer to the machine, the further now we'll fire in. The further out, the more it leaves the head out. So we want to push it all the way into the machine and allow us to fire. One, tighten up, and that should be us up and ready to go.